Hello, here is Copper, Silver and Steel. Welcome back to the Off-Grid series. In today's video, I will show you how to set up and run and wire this AGI LFP battery with day three-phase 12 kilowatts hybrid inverter. So if you are interested in, just stay tuned and we will start. <laughs> All right, so this is the exact model of the day of the inverter and the exact model of the energy storage uh, it is equipped with bms so we will also do a connection with bms all right so before i start the uh, machines uh, here is the wiring uh, now we are dc uh, disconnected so everything is cold right now all right, so let's start maybe from this um, perspective. First of all, we need to connect battery plus and minus. This is 28 volt DC battery, low voltage. We are going through this DC isolator. It's very important because if you connect battery to the inverter, this switch does not disconnect the inverter DC. Only It only disconnects PV. Uh, so, um, before connecting battery, always use DC insulated, rated for the BMS. This is tw uh, 200 amps BMS, so this is 250 BMS rated DC insulator, never use AC. Alright, so first we need to connect protective earth. As you can see, this line here is pretty short, but it is connected here to the inverter. So we always start from connecting protective earth to inverter, then we connect DC plus and minus of so the battery. Uh, here is not, uh, PV is not connected right now because we will be powering it directly from the energy storage. And we will use one load, one phase, phase and neutral, and it goes to the socket. Uh, so basically the most simple connection ever to test all right so let's take a look about wiring i will put this somewhere in here i need some pointer so give me a moment all right so what do we have in here protective earth should be connected to this section load this is protective earth also protective earth should be connected here to ensure if the case this fails or won't be enabled in single signal island mode i will tell you about island uh, it characteristics in a moment but uh, protective earth uh, is not always uh, connected there is a relay between uh, load and the whole chassis uh, but we want to have TNCS architecture in Europe uh, where the neutral is with the same potential as protective earth. Uh, so uh, we are connecting a neutral. It is here and it is, um, as you can see here, we got the indicators, labels for load. So to load, we connect neutral. We connect one, two, L1, L2, L3, so phases. I only take the, the middle one uh, phase and protective earth and the last one, PA. All right, so this is from the AC where we go back to the loads. And we will be using this in pure off-grid uh, configuration. This video is about off-grid configuration. So no grid tired things right now. It's a hybrid inverter. It could export to grid and so on but today we won't be using it okay so with the day you got the communication cable it's rj45 like computer socket but um, use this one uh, provided with inverter and we connect this socket to bms socket as you can see here and the second and of this go into CAN communication protocol 
Uh, this BMS actually supports both RS485 and CAN, but CAN is faster, more reliable, uh, less um, uh, less problematic, let's say. So I choose CAN because uh, the day also support both RS and CAN. So uh, we will be using CAN. Uh, and DC battery, of course. Uh, here we got pretty big terminals, this M10 um, metric uh, nut from this isolator we use M8 and from the BMS we use pretty small but it is only M6 uh, I think those bus bar are very little uh, as for 200 amps, but this is only my personal opinion. All right, so this was the wiring uh, for the complete off-grid system. So summarize again, protective earth into low protected earth, then connect plus and minus battery 48 volts uh, or 51 because this is LFP. And BMS socket goes to CAN, we will use CAN communication and that's all. Okay, so last one look. Last one look in here. I use all the protective earth uh, to this bar, bus bar, e bar, e bus, whatever you call it, uh, depending when you live, because I wanted to have protective earth also on my socket. So basically, we take neutral and face going into those two AC breakers they are rated to 25 no 16 amps so we won't be able to test the maximum power but from the one phase you should be able to get 4 kilowatts easily all right so i will close the cover and we will continue our starting procedure all right so what do we need to do now first we need to start up the uh, s j y from china lfp battery i'm pressing on welcome to the bms management system pretty easy uh, you know this BMS, I will give you the model in the description, I don't uh, remember it right now, but the 100 amps for charging and 200 amps for continuous discharging. In pack uh, status, uh, down, we should go to para set, enter, and we choose down to can bus, enter and we choose day so the protocol for communication will be day i have also made it uh, before the video but now i'm com uh, confirming again so escape escape uh, down we can go to pack info see the current uh, voltage and capacity temperature there is four um four uh, sensors in here um cell info if you go down 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 you get cell info so you could see the voltage on each cell separately like in bms 16 as battery with 305 amp hours uh, the provider claims that these are the Gaussian Gaussian I don't know how to spell it name the, the, the manufacturer of the cells LFP cells I haven't opened it uh, yet uh, so I cannot confirm it but it seems uh, pretty okay it holds the the voltage and for now testing a few hours I haven't noticed any issues all right so the magazine is about 40% uh, SOC we could now enable the DC insulator uh, to start it it's a lot of power you need all right so for now nothing happens but on the bus you already have uh, low DC voltage and now we press on off and we wait 
uh, when the day starts. This switch do not disconnect DC, it only disconnects PV, so it could be on off if you don't need to use PV. Alright, so let's go back to day. Um, if you wait a moment, we will see that um, the relay starts, so we will have a voltage on the AC side. I will try to set the camera so you will be able to see everything, because I want to show you how to set up the BMS communication. So we go uh, enter, we go to uh, basic settings uh, to unlock the changes. Okay, the code is standard is seven 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 seven. Yeah, okay, it works. So uh, if you do it for the first time, you need to go to battery settings. You need to select lithium. Uh, you need to unlock it before changing any settings. In here, it's lithium. And if you go down you can see the lithium mode. Uh, lithium mode for this uh, communication protocol with this particular battery zero zero, which is standard CAN communication protocol. In the instruction manual of the battery, you will have the settings from Growat, uh, Fronius, other manufacturers, but for this day, you have, you have zero zero. You can hear now the relay so about a minute the inverter starts and we have uh, and we have power on the AC side I will show you in a moment we will uh, measure the voltage or apply some load uh, another important thing I don't know uh, if we if we need to discuss this in this video but I will need to mention it if you don't want to have two floating phases between L1 and L2, so the 230 volts uh, floating, but you want to have a neutral, real neutral, so the potential, the voltage between neutral and protective air should be zero, you need to enable the signal island mode settings. I uh, will try to find, and this is the recommended uh, settings for full off grid system. Um, advanced function, yeah, in advanced function you will have this thicker in here. If you enable it, the relay connects neutral to protective earth. So if you measure the voltage between N neutral and protective earth, you will get zero very low voltage. If you don't do this, you will have the situation like the EA Sun inverter as well L1 and 2 uh, is actually the characteristic of the network is IT insulated Terra not TNCS uh, so of course in if you live in Europe or if you uh, actually live in the space in, in the area where the standard for electricity is TNC or TNCS not IT you should always remember enable signal island mode if you are in pure off-grid system all right so i think it's all for now for this video now you will know how to enable communication and of course we need to check if the communication works if i'm not lying to you so let's go back to main menu let's press the battery and as you can see we get complete information of soc we get complete information about temperature we can go further inside and see all the parameters. Without the communication, the BMS communication, the SOC will be calculated using the voltage, which is very not um, precise. And you won't be able to have the temperature, for example, and you won't be able to react. So you can, of course, set the DC cut of voltage to protect the battery from complete dry but you won't have any information like temperature for example so so it's really recommended to have the BMS communication enabled all right so as you can see in my off-grid there is a lot of upgrades I have now two Grovats and the capacity of my DIY magazine increased into 
into uh, 30 plus kilowatt hour um, but maybe I will also add some of those magazine into my uh, setup okay so now let's shut down everything so the procedure is of course opposite the starting procedure so off we wait all the relays switch off and the magazine and the inverter sorry will go down yes after it we could disable the DC and we could shut down the magazine itself all right so this is all for now if you have any questions if you have uh, specific you know requests to video about wiring or any other uh, just let me know and I will create another video for you it was a pretty long break before the last video but I was involved in many other projects so as you can see many things happen right now with my wind turbine also as well uh, this inverter is a base because it has uh, also very good controller dual or, or, or triple MPPT but they also it could be used to connect wind turbine so thanks for watching it was copper silver and steel and see you in the next video don't forget to subscribe give me a like and bye